So in the first example, what I'd like to do is just kind of remind you guys of long division as well as the long division algorithm, as well as give you some definitions of what each term re uh, reveals. Because when I'm going to be talking through this chapter, I'm constantly going to be using divisor, quotient, dividend, remainder. So you're going to want to remember and understand what they mean. All right. So here's your divisor. That's what we're going to divide into our dividend, which is 2516 or 2516. <coughs> now, when you're using long division, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use one place value at a time. I'm going to see, does 8 divide into the place value 2? Or not place value 2, but the number 2 in the first place value. Well, 8 does not divide into 2. So then we go to the next one. Does 8 divide into 24? 27. Yes. 25, not 24. I was thinking already of the product. It goes in there three times, right? So we're going to write how many times it divides in up here. Then we do 3 times 8, which is 24. Then what we simply do is subtract our two rows. And I basically have 25 minus 24 is 1. Now again, 8 does not divide into 1. So I can move over to the next place value over here, which is 1. 8 divides into 11 one, one time. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract, you get 3. 8 does not divide into 3. So I bring in the next value, which would be 6. 8 divides into 36 four times. 4 times 8 is 32. Subtract, and you get 4. Now, technically, if you're in math for college readiness, we would do 8 does not go into 4, right? There's no more numbers, so what you could do is put a decimal point and then do a 0. Now you could bring down a 0. But we're not going to be doing that. We don't really care about that. What I want you guys to understand is this is the remainder. So when you get to a remainder or 0, that's going to be your remainder. And this is your quotient. Make sure you guys label all the stuff so you understand the difference of everything. Huh? Oh, it is? Yeah. 